Okay, now, I will quickly touch on the, if you notice where it says lacrosse ball underlined and then the levator scapula, supraspinatus, infraspinatus. That's an area, again, that I will spend time with when I've got throwing athletes that have scar tissue built up in that area, somebody that's exceptionally tight in, in, their, um, in their thoracic, typically going to have more rotator cuff issues. Um, the, well, I left out the rhomboids. The rhomboids, the foam roller. Let me, let, me just make, let me just add something to what he just said. The column that I wrote on the rotator cuff probably produced the second most letters to the author from all over the world on the, in the military time of any of the columns that I've written on the rotator cuff. And a lot of it came from 35 on up. Hey, I got rotator. It's like the rotator cuff is you know, not just with the pictures or anything, but a huge number of rotator cuff problems out there. And the thing on that, and you certainly, Bob, add to this, we typically look at where the pain is when it comes down to the body, and that's another thing that Justin's going to obviously address. But we have to look at kinetic chains. We can't just look at where the pain is. We have to say, okay, where's it originating? Rotator cuff, more times than not, and I don't like giving percentages because I haven't done, done a specific test on this, but the issue starts in the scapula. When somebody has no ability, and believe me, not, I mean, we have 10 year olds that have horrible mobility in their thoracic spine. The rotator cuff's job is to just keep the shoulder in place to do its job. I mean, it really is not intended to be a prime mover that is just there to assist. But when you have the primary muscles not doing their job, then the rotator cuff, by default, has to pitch in and pick up the slack. That's how it gets hurt. It's, you know, so it's more dysfunction than it is, oh, he's torn a rotator cuff, let's go fix the rotator cuff. Well, Going to come, he or she's going to come back and have the same issues, greatly limited range of motion, scar tissue build up, and everything else, and then just have to inevitably for the rest of the life keep going in and coming down. With the, the um, lacrosse ball, we're dealing with that issue in the root so that the rotator cuff itself, for instance, I don't do a lot of rotator cuff specific exercises like, you know, resistance band, external rotation, things like that, unless it's in rehabilitation type environment because. I don't, first of all, I don't think it's necessary if you deal with <coughs> the scapular control issue, first and foremost. And if you do have issues in your scapular region, and you're doing all these things here, you're going to irritate the rotator cuff as opposed to strengthen it. Because you still haven't, you don't have the ability to do a proper external range of motion, you know, with resistance because of lightning control down here. So if somebody goes, like a rotator cuff pain, and then we immediately put them on a regimen of external rotations, thinking, well, wow, my client has rotator cuff problems, I'm going to start them out with three sets of 20 of, you know, external rotations here and then L raises and all that, and then they come back and they complain that they're in pain all the time still, or that it hurts even more when they do the specific rotator cuff exercise. <coughs> then again, you have to look back, okay, why is it there? Place? By being able to notice. If I've got a client that is doing a horizontal row, and that's the best that they can do, their rotator cuff problems on the way at some point. If they're doing a push-up and their shoulders go up as they push or, you know, bench press, anything, that's... And that's the thing is that if you notice that when people, when I, when I basically, when you're, when you're pushing, you're, you should be thinking scapula as opposed to anterior. That. So you notice how I'm here and pushing as opposed to this. And that's most people when they push. Shoulders go up and that. So if we have them, if they're already doing that and we have them doing an exercise that has them doing that with load, again, we're strengthening the weakness. We're not correcting. They're better off if they didn't do anything. 